Good morning everybody. It is about 10am on Monday the 6th of March, I think. I can never ever get dates right. I don't even know why I bother. Sadly this morning, literally one of the first things that happened was my tripod broke again. So I have ordered a new one. Whether it's going to be as good, I don't know. It's from the same brand, but it's different. Uh, look, she's dead. She's fully dead, like this thing just snapped. I literally don't know where to put you now because I have nowhere in the kitchen to put you. But can you believe it? Actually, no, wait, first, new hair. New hair, new me. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you won't know that I dyed my hair on Wednesday and I absolutely love it. I'm not gonna lie, I'm obsessed with it. Don't know why I didn't do it sooner. But yeah, this is my new ready brown color hair which i love if you want to see how i did it and what i used and everything that video is over on my tiktok if you haven't seen it already anyway what i was going to say is the guy from open reach to come and sort our internet out is here <laughs> even tell you how excited i am it makes me want to cry me mum and alfie have come to starbucks haven't we little man i got alfie one of these I don't know what they're called. I think you're supposed to put them in like your drink or something, but you seem to be enjoying that, don't you? Is that yummy? Right, we are back from shopping now. I went and got a few bits from Tesco. Also, sorry if I'm talking quietly, Alfie is asleep in the other room. Yeah, so I got a few bits from Tesco, nothing major, and got a coffee, a coconut coffee frappe from Starbucks, which was actually delightful. And I don't know why I did it because it feels like minus five outside, but that's what I fancied at the time. Soon regretted it. But yeah, it's super, super miserable outside. When we were out earlier, it just started pouring with rain. I was like, why? Why? I don't know if you can see it behind me, but we do have a new little light fixture. So it's basically like this lamp here with this square base and it's got like three shelves coming down. So at the moment, we've just got some cards and a plant on it there. But we absolutely love it. It just looks so nice in the living room like if you just look at it from this corner you can just see it there and obviously we want some like art on the walls and stuff but we wanted something to light up the dining room table for when we're eating because at the moment we're just using the big light and it's i hate the big light more than anything i think i've said this before but it just gives me anxiety putting the big light on i'm really sad about my tripod i don't know what i ever did without one because right now i I don't know where to put my there's nowhere for me to put my phone i have ordered another one though which is hopefully gonna come tomorrow so fingers crossed i will be able to get back to it tomorrow the next couple of days it is gonna be so so cold in the uk so i am preparing for the winter weather with my matcha green tea which i never actually used to like but apparently it takes like 16 tries or something of a food or a drink or like a flavor or a texture for you to get used to it I drank this quite a lot and i actually really like it now at first it tasted like grass but i really like it now but yeah you will just see me in comfies like i am now slippers because i'm just i am not prepared for this weather i don't understand right it's march it's the 6th of march today why is it getting colder i it's supposed to be getting nicer. I don't. It makes me want to actually just burst out crying. I may or may not have just kind of woke Alfie up. I mean, like, I didn't mean to wake him up. I kind of did. It was coming into danger nap territory. It's five o'clock. I was like, I really want to leave him to sleep. But at the same time, if I leave him to sleep any longer, he's not going to sleep tonight. So I kind of walked into his room to see what would happen. And he woke up straight away. So I don't feel too guilty, but... He's currently playing with a wind chime that his dad bought him and I hung it up in his room and he absolutely loves it and it actually looks really nice. What's that? Wow. Take your sleep sack off. And he dressed you very, very strangely today. <laughs> but that's okay, isn't it? Beautiful. Mm. I know you don't want cuddles with mummy, you just want to play, but mummy wants cuddles with you, so that's what I'm going to Is anybody else literally freezing gold 24 7? Actually, all the time. This is all I ever wear like comfortables, slippers, fluffy slippers, and a fluffy dressing gown because I'm just so, so freezing cold all the time. Like, it's so unpleasant. But then I know in the summer when it gets like 30 degrees, I'm, it's going to be even more unpleasant. No, you've got your own remote you don't need those so we have 
the fire stick remote and the tv remote then this remote is actually my old remote from my bedroom at home my mum and dad's and we've basically just given him that remote to play with because he wants to be an adult and you want to play with real remotes don't you look at him go guys honestly you're so clever but yeah we've had to give him that remote to play with and he still wants the other remotes so the mind of a toddler huh the mind of you good morning everybody it is now the next day i really can't be bothered today hence the face i literally have like the tiniest bit of mascara on the outer corners of my lashes and i always do i don't know whether you can see but i always feel like i have to put like a little bit of bronzer over my nose because i was just so pale and washed out I need to look slightly tanned so that is what i've done today hopefully you keep waking up at like six in the morning and waking me up it might be earlier than that actually i don't even look oh and sorry if you can hear the washing machine sorry so many things going on this morning yeah i don't actually know what the time is when he has been waking me up recently but it's super early because it's like only just getting light outside so he just decides to wake me up i'm so sorry i could literally fall asleep he decides to wake me up and then he will like stand up and try and get out of bed and i'm like no go back to sleep and then i get him back to sleep and then we wake up at like eight together i don't know what the point of that story was oh yeah why i'm tired every time i come and vlog there's always another reason why I'm tired. He's teething, he has me up. I can't sleep. Sleep is just not a good thing for me. I also still don't have a tripod. I'm currently balancing you on like a little wooden block on top of my biscuit tin. I'm still waiting for my tripod and I don't even know whether it's gonna be delivered until later, which is so annoying. Apologies for the horrendous angle. I obviously still don't have my tripod um so i'm just balancing you on the side i did that thing that really stupid thing last night where i washed my hair and i couldn't bother to wait for it to dry so i put it in a plait but you know when you put your hair in a plait when it's like soaking wet and then you wake up and it goes like really frizzy that's what happened so now my lovely clean washed fluffy hair which is like my favourite state that my hair is in when it's all nice and washed and clean is now frizzy and there's no going back so <sighs> dumb decision anyway i'm sat here with my coffee looking outside watching that horrendous rain that comes down that the really fine rain that is just so pointless but it also makes you absolutely soaking wet today is the start of the cold spell that the uk is gonna have the next couple of days i think it's like five degrees today for march is actually pretty cold i mean i know we've had snow in march before i think we've had snow in april before the last few years it hasn't been so bad i don't think i'm just i'm so sick of it but then a, a part of me is like i do love being in my like cozy hoodies cozy joggers slippers it's just the layers the layers are annoying yep actually if you get cold like me, because I know some people don't, like some people really, really sweat, um, but I get I get freezing, like I have to sleep in like full on layers this time of year. If you're like a really cold person like me, invest in some fleece tights and just wear them under everything and then like put socks over the top. So basically they're just like all in one thermals with like socks attached and they are so so warm just like tuck your tops into it use it as like a base layer and oh my god the best thing ever i've just bought like three pairs and i've been doing it every single day literally got them on now you can see them peering through but these are like 200 denier denier denner i don't know most tights aren't like that but these are 200 and they're like fleece lined on the inside oh my god they're so comfortable anyway i'm gonna stop rambling but that was my little recommendation of this video so if there's anything i recommend if you're a cold person, go and buy these fleece tights. Today is Tuesday. We don't have anything planned. I feel like this vlog is going to be very boring. And I know a lot of my vlogs are home-based. I don't really go out and do too much. And if I do, I don't vlog it. And that is mainly because when I have Alfie, it's too difficult for me to hold my phone in my tripod and record without him getting upset he likes like one-to-one -one, like proper he's not very independent when it comes to 
being out. He likes to be like attached to my hip. I'm a very small girl. Alfie is a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. Yeah, Alfie is a very small, no, a very big boy. When I'm carrying him, there's not really, I can't really do anything else. Like I literally just have to carry him unless I like put you down somewhere, but I can't really do that if I'm out and about. So that's why I don't really like vlog while I'm out. But I think maybe towards the summer, when he's like walking more and there's not so much faff with rain and cold and stuff like that. I think it may be slightly easier for me to vlog while I'm out and about. But anyway, I am rambling again. I actually need to shut up. I don't know how I have any subscribers because I genuinely just sit here and talk rubbish the whole time. So we don't have anything really planned today. As I said, I think this week's vlog is going to be slightly more boring i know sometimes i do film when i'm out in the car and stuff like that but i don't really have much planned i'm supposed to be seeing my friend tomorrow but i think i'm going to move it to thursday because thursday tomorrow is supposed to be like really heavy rain and freezing cold and i don't really want to go out um on a day like that so i'm going to try and move that to thursday instead i don't really have much planned for the rest of the week to be honest i think i just need to use this week to like do a load of sorting out and you know i'll show you some new bits that we've got i mean i showed you the light fixture yesterday so we've got a new bin which is not very exciting but it's still something new a new shoe rack and i bought this like glass jar for my granola i feel so aesthetically pleased by that like i bought this glass jar from the on the same day that we bought the bin and the light fixture and the shoe rack and i was like I have a vision to put my granola in this and you know you see those like really aesthetic TikToks where all these people will like empty all of their dishwasher tablets and sugar well I mean we have sugar coffee and tea but I mean like proper little things that you would normally leave in the box and then they like empty them and put them all in their own glass containers and they're like labeled and stuff like that I mean I don't have any labels but I had this vision to put my granola in it and I kid you not I came home and put my granola in it and I emptied the whole pack of granola, like the whole thing into this jar and it fit perfectly. Like it literally fits like a glove. It was perfect and I had none left over. So I just threw the boxes away. I've just been feeling like that girl in the mornings when I've been doing my Weetabix and putting my granola on top and I've been like opening the jar and like sprinkling it on top. I don't know, it's one of the little things in life and now I'm like, oh, I just want to put everything in glass jars, but I know it's just so inconvenient and impractical. Oh, getting to the end of this coffee and all I can taste is the sugar. Uh. <gasps> Hello. That's a lovely smile. Are you excited? Have you had a nice sleep? Oh. Hello. Are you going to say hi? Uh. <laughs> you gonna take it off? Ready? Go on then, take it off. <laughs> Is it not coming off? <gasps> Yay! Good boy. No, please, please don't eat it. That's dirty. Take it off. Yay, clever boy. Back on mummy's foot. Put it back on mummy's foot. No? So the tripod has arrived. It looks like this, which is completely different to my other one, but I just saw it and it was the same um, brand as the one that I had before, but I kind of just thought like, I'll try something different and see if I like it. And then even if I don't, or even if I do actually, I may order the same sort of one as I had before as well. So I'm not sure whether this one extends, but I just kind of thought right for a quick fix. Yeah, I feel like it's actually not bad. I'm using it literally right now to balance you. It's not bad, it's a little bit more like fiddly. It's still do want to get another one though because I was right this one does not extend but I'm not really too sure what this angle is oh wait let me just take my headphones off good I'm not really too sure what this angle is you're currently like on the handle of my window like wrapped you around because you can do that with with the um tripod that I have now yeah sorry if I'm looking up I couldn't really think of anywhere else to put you because, as I said, this doesn't extend. So, a bit of a strange angle, but we're going to go with it. This is what my hair results into when I just cannot be bothered anymore. I literally just shove it up like this and I don't mind. Is that a parcel for me? 
Yes. Okay, so I've just got a parcel through, which is great. It feels really warm. It feels like, I'm not even joking, it actually feels like somebody's done a poo and put it in a package. I don't know what I've ordered. Oh, I don't even remember ordering these. These are so nice. Oh, Daisy. They're like wide leg cargos. They're from Vinted. I don't even remember ordering these, but go me, I guess. So nice at the state of this living room look at all your toys it's not even a living room at this point is it it's just a toy room and then make some music ready on Yay! that's it really good music making i can indeed get changed in front of this window because see this is the thing about these fleece tights look if anyone's walking past they're just gonna think that these are leggings so these are i think these are an eight these are far too long so i'm gonna have to cut them but they fit really really nicely around this area it's just the bottoms oh well I can cut them. They're really nice. I really like them. Taking these straight off though because I'm not being funny. I can't deal with non comfortable clothes. Good morning, guys. I say morning. However, I think it's gone 12 o'clock now, so it's not really morning. I didn't film anything yesterday, so it is a couple of days later than when you last saw me. Sorry, I got a black coffee because I ran out of coconut milk and I haven't been to the shop yet. Not my favourite thing in the world, not gonna lie. Yeah, so it is a Thursday afternoon, not morning. Charlie's just decided to surprise me by coming home for lunch, which I'm really excited about. I can see him now. <laughs> Alfie is currently asleep. Hello. I'm sorry, I literally did just tell you that he was coming around the corner and then he came in and I literally just ignored the camera altogether. I need to make your rap because I'm the rap queen. <laughs> You're so terrible. I don't say. So, what I was going to say is I need to go to a shop and I really want to go to Asda. However, there's a big Asda near me, but it involves going to a roundabout that I am. Um, I'm not here for. I hate. I quite frankly avoid. I could go to an Asda that's half an hour away, but that's double the time. And if I just went to the one that, if I just stopped being a pussy. The other option, well, there's two other options, Audi or Tesco, but then I feel like Audi, like put, put in the middle of Audi and Tesco, you get Asda. So that's why I was going to go for Asda. What do you think I should do? Should I just go to Audi so then I can get you that bread? Yeah, don't squash it really bad at squashing bread it's because like the potatoes and stuff like that get kept in there we need it just for mm. bread and then put the potatoes in there but we don't really know. the cupboards are all too high for me let me just get rid of this gum actually hey guys so i ended up actually going to asda in the end i'm literally out of breath because i spent 70 pounds in asda which doesn't really sound like a lot to most people but it's quite a lot of money for me i'm not gonna lie but it was all things that we needed so i picked up loads and i'm just gonna do like a little haul i didn't film anything while i was there because i went with alfie and he just he wants to enjoy the experience in the trolley he doesn't want a camera in his face i actually picked up my friend as well and we went together i went to the huge huge asda in charlotte's ford and picked up loads of bits so i will give you the rundown now firstly i bought these omv brioche buns i bought two packs because me charlie and alfie are gonna have burgers for dinner and i saw these and i was like i haven't had brioche buns in the longest time because most of them have milk in she's a steal i bought some soft white thick bread and some seeded bread for me i bought some strawberry oats because i've been absolutely loving porridge at the moment so i did buy a couple of cards for mother's day and a gift bag but they all got absolutely soaked because it's torrential downpours so not sure we're going to be using those i also bought some curly fries for tonight well i don't know whether charlie and alfie will have them but i will definitely have those then i also bought some normal chips some plant-based chicken strips four plant-based chicken burgers some meat-free bacon 
I bought some soya milk and some coconut milk, soya for my tea in the morning and coconut for my coffee in the afternoon. Of course, you know me by now, obviously I got a bottle of Pinot. Don't know what this one's like, I've never tried it, but I'm all for experimenting and I pretty much like most white wines. So obviously coming up to the weekend, I can have a few glasses of that. I bought two packs of Melty Sticks for Alfie, he absolutely loves these. So I bought him some peach and banana ones for breakfast and some cheesy apple ones as well. I could have honestly sworn that when Charlie left this morning, he said, get ham. There was no context there was there was no like there was nothing to it so i just bought some vegetarian ham for him because i i don't know whether he wants this but he's gonna have it anyway i bought a four pack of tinned beans some butter and eggs i bought some omv cookies and some plant-based caramel desserts a cucumber and some avocados four packs of these vegan white chocolate buttons i love putting these in those desserts which is why i got both I bought Alfie some strawberry and banana biscottis and I also bought myself a vegan chocolate spread. Last couple of bits, I bought Alfie some Derrily because he absolutely loves it and it's so quick and easy sometimes. And then I bought some Fry Light and some hair food conditioner. So to be honest, for all this, £70 is really not too bad. Right, I'm not sure if this is making any difference, but I do actually have my other phone with my flash on. The lighting in here, I find, is not the best. Anyway, I'm sorry if you could hear my bath running. I am in desperate need of one. Alfie went down to sleep much, much better tonight. I don't know if I've mentioned this, I don't think I have. On my TikTok, I have been speaking about how last night, Alfie did go to bed until like 9 pm, and I'm not sure if it's down to the fact that he still naps twice a day, even though he is over one. And a lot of people on my TikTok have suggested that I move his nap because currently he can not water. I always do this. So, currently, for a very, very long time now, he's been napping twice a day from around 10 till 11 or till 12 and usually like three to four or two to three um and that's not i haven't like followed a weight window schedule or anything like that i've literally just gone with what he wants like if he's tired i just let him go to sleep but everyone on my tiktok is basically saying to not do that and to change it so one he goes to sleep easier and two he sleeps through the night. So I did try and start this earlier, but because I went out, he fell asleep in the car, so it didn't really work out in my favour, but I'll try again tomorrow. Anyway, yeah, if your baby is around 13 months like Alfie, please comment and let me know what their naps are like, because I know every baby's different, but I don't really want a repeat of last night. I also just want to take a second to rave about this Vichy cleanser. It's for oily and sensitive skin which i have never seen before and that is exactly what i have so i used to use the cetaphil oily cleanser and it used to bring me up in like red all over my face it didn't really do much but you guys know that oh that's bleeding but that's not a spot it's a cup well it was a spot that i popped it turned into a cup and now it's bleeding because i've worked too hard oh yeah if you've been following me for a while you'll know that I get really bad skin, especially down to fructose or glucose syrup in food. And then the flat above me is like having a rave or something. But I feel like this, ever since I've been using it, it's really helped. Like these are all flat now and they're kind of just scars. I still get the odd one, but I just think it's so, so nice. It's only £12, which is not too bad for a cleanser. You don't need a lot of it either. You literally just put some in your hands, let it foam up. Um, all over your face. It kind of smells like tea tree, which I love. And I just kind of let it sit for a little bit. But yeah, I've never had anybody talk about this, and I absolutely love it. It's probably because my skin type is quite a rare one. I feel like everybody who is everyone has dry skin. But for my fellow oily skin babes, this one is for me. Hello everybody, it is now the next day. I know I probably look like I've been crying. I haven't actually been crying. For some reason, I think I basically, when I was doing my makeup this morning, I poked myself in the eye with my makeup, like with my powder or something. And it's really irritated my eyes ever since. So I literally had to take like the whole lot off and just put like the tiniest bit on. I've got like no concealer on, so 
ignore the bags um but my eyes just keep streaming they've been streaming all day so today i actually went out to a garden center with my mum and alfie we just went out for an hour yeah, i did get a few clips i'm just gonna put them in here it's basically like this garden center not too far from me actually me and my mum just went for like a little coffee and a brownie and then they had this like really nice little play area for alfie so he had a really really nice run around and play there so if anybody is like local to me sort of between like portsmouth and southampton if you do want to visit it is silver springs in titchfield really really lovely place would highly recommend it but yeah i just thought i would come on here and close the vlog off because i'm gonna have to stand up here because he's literally gonna grab my tripod and the little bits at the bottom of this new tripod come off i'm scared he's gonna like choke on them but rude but yeah, I just thought I would come on here and close the vlog off because I feel like I have probably exceeded my limit of 30 minutes per video. So I really hope I haven't because I really don't want to, I just can't bother to cut things out. Absolutely freezing today. Everywhere else in the country seems to have snow apart from where I live, um, which is brill. I mean, I'm not really too bothered, but Alfie's never seen snow and it's quite nice for him to see it. But anyways. I am going to end this vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please subscribe. I do upload videos weekly at the moment. It would mean a lot to me for you to come on this journey with me. Yeah, other than that, thank you so much. Have an incredible week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.